guys, Nana here. So today we are finally making a lemon tart. Now this video is gonna be a lot quicker, a lot easier and a lot shorter, seeing as we already made our sweet pastry case yesterday in a separate video. Um, by all means, you can use store-bought um, pastry case, but if you wanna make it from scratch, then um, please refer to my other video tutorial on how to make a sweet pastry case. So this is the sweet pastry case that we made yesterday. As you can see, um, the egg wash gave it a really nice golden color. Now this also creates a seal on our pastry, preventing it to become soggy later on when we will put our lemon tart filling. So that's that. So I'll just put that on one side and then we can start on our lemon tart mixture. So for this recipe, I am using 10 eggs. So that's your 10 eggs. Now, for this, we are using 300 grams of sugar, or if you want to convert it to cups, then it's about a cup and a quarter of sugar. So you just mix it with the eggs and then beat it until it's pale. So after three minutes of whisking, <laughs> That was exhausting. We can now finally add our lemon juice. Now I've got here three quarters of a cup of lemon or it is equivalent to about 175 ml. So you just add that with your eggs. And then in here I've got 300 ml of double cream. Also add that. And then just give it a whisk. So um, at this point, most people will just strain this one and then put it straight onto your pastry case and bake it in the oven um, for say 45 to 50 minutes. But I'd like to um, warm my mixture on the hob first now um, this actually helps reduce your cooking time in the oven so what I'm gonna do is strain it into my pan part is crucial you guys I am sharing you this from experience because I have lost count on how many times I have burnt lemon tart mixes doing it this way and it's absolutely ridiculous <laughs> so what I suggest is that you do not take your eyes off the pan or the mixture or leave your hob when you are doing this now you just put your pan over there I've got it here a lemon so I just need zest of one lemon now this is optional because some people doesn't really like it a little bit um, with the bits of lemon zest in the lemon tart I said lemon so many times <laughs> okay so you just grate your lemon zest So you just turn your hob, say about medium to low, and then just keep stirring it at this point. Now you just have to warm this up. You don't want to cook the eggs. The last thing you want is scrambled lemon tart. Okay, so I'll tell you exactly how many minutes will this take. Okay, so that took exactly two minutes for it to reach 45 
degree Celsius. So between 40 to 50. And that is ready. So now our mixture is nice and warm. And then if you're brave enough, then you can always just um, slowly put this in your pan. But I'm not. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to transfer it into a jug. Oh dear. <laughs> As I said, if you're brave enough, you can just um, pour the mixture straight into your pan and then slowly put it in the oven now because i'm very clumsy what i tend to do is that i put this in the oven and then once it's in then that's when i start um, to pour my mixture that way there's not a lot of um, moving going on so i'm gonna do that now so i'm just gonna put it in my oven you have to pull the shelf a little bit Now that just needs to cook in there for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so it's been exactly 35 minutes guys. So let's check on our lemon tart. Great. I think this is now ready. Now if you're gonna move your pan, you are looking for that slight wobble, just slightly okay because if it's a little bit too runny still then it will wobble a lot and you don't want that so i think that's perfect now as i said because my um flan tart is a little bit thick now if you're using the um, standard um thin flutes then i think it will only take about 20 to 25 minutes and that is it you guys i am just so pleased that actually it turned out okay in the end now the next thing for us to do right now is to cool it down on the counter until it's room temperature and then after that you can then put it and chill it in the um, fridge um, you don't want to chill it straight in the fridge when it's still hot or else your lemon tart will crack so so we will be back later on when it's nice and chilled and i will show you when i will finally slice a piece of lemon tart thank you <laughs>